guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with a very quick rush kit video for you. This is just to show you how uh, different the uh, new 5960X looks compared to the older generation of 2011 processors. The one on the right hand side is actually a 3930K, but it wouldn't matter whether it was a 3930K, a 4930K, 4820, it wouldn't matter. They do just look like that, and that's the kind of the way that we have come to um, just get used to our Intel processors looking. This one does have, first strikingly, these little extra feet that I'm going to call them that sit out, and I'll show you what these are for in a moment. But the actual side of the processor, where it's got that very sheer edge, it's not a curved edge, it's actually quite a knife edge there really, this part of it itself actually reminds me very much of the AMD processors. Now this has been used, it's come out of a working system which is why you can see a bit of thermal paste and stuff around the outside. Um, that's the, the, like, the look of the processors themselves. Obviously the 5960X is the, the latest 3 gigahertz, 8 core, 16 thread, 2011 V3 from Intel to go with the new X99 chipset. It's the latest and greatest, like their, their flagship processor. Uh, if you want to go and have a look at the full review for that, go over to on the OC3D TV channel where we've done the full review on it. But I'm just going to show you now just the way that these uh, little tabs actually play a part in the mount now. Okay then peeps, so we have the uh, 5960X in the socket. It's actually on an Asus X99 Deluxe, which is uh, why it's all white and lovely. It's actually one of my favourite looking boards at the moment. But... So I just wanted to show you the way this works with the clamp as well. And if you've not seen the 2011 stuff before, then this might be quite handy for you. Make sure you get it sat in correctly. The writing will probably be upside down, at least with the engineering that we've got. The writing is upside down when you fit it. Go careful. There are a lot of pins in there. Take your time. Don't try and do it um, like restricted. Make sure you've got plenty of room around and stuff so you can get to do it. And then when you uh, first put the plate down, you need to make sure that this lever is up and this lever is up as well. They've got like a secondary, a primary and a secondary lever. Now when you push that down, you can see already that the outside of the clamp um, uh, is actually now sat on those little feet and the, the square bit of the IHS that I said looks like the AMD side of it is um, now raised up in between. So you can see there, like I said, it's now sat and that um, is what's going, helps hold the CPU down. It's not on the silicon or anything. Um, so the first thing we do is we take this one and this goes down and you can see that the lever is now pressing on the end of that um, the socket there and it's starting to pinch it down you can see that the socket's starting to bend and move you can also see that the CPU is actually getting forced down inside as well and we push that down and it locks and latches into place just down here so it's kind of just like that and then if I bring the board down a little bit, just so you can see a bit clearer, then you then go for the secondary clamp, which you push down, it goes on the inside, and then clamps in as well. And then that is your CPU, um, oh, we can get a shadow from the camera. Then that is your CPU fitted. I have been favoring, because it's quite a large die, if you're going to be putting thermal paste on it yourself, putting it in, and then I have personally been spreading it. But if you are um, concerned about your temperatures and things like that, calm down, make sure you've got some uh, thermal paste cleaner and some, you know, like anti-static rag, or I always just use a uh, normal kitchen towel if you're um, uh, in the UK and you understand what I mean by kitchen towel. But if it takes you a couple of attempts to get the perfect mount, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got enough thermal paste, couple of dibs and dabs on it, try the spread, if it doesn't work or you're not happy with it, clean it off, try just the dob, see if it makes any difference. It's really not going to matter and it will actually help you start to learn uh, to start testing your rig because you can try um, your benchmarks in between and stuff. It's really not going to hurt, is it? But for now at least, this is uh, another, just a quick rush kit show off and almost a little bit of a guide video for you. Out. Oh. <laughs>